The food waste recycling law we've all been hearing about just went into effect a couple of days ago on January 1st. While some people already have their new green bins, many others do not. News 8's Brian White has the details on how to follow these new rules. With the new organics recycling law, our food waste will no longer be going into the regular trash. Instead, we'll be putting it in green bins and dumpsters like this one. This is a kitchen caddy and you can uh, scrape your plates right in there. Jessica Toth is the executive director for the nonprofit Solana Center, and she says diverting our kitchen food scraps away from normal trash is easier than it sounds. So let's say I was just preparing my kids' lunch, and I peeled their tangerine, and I put a banana in their breakfast, put it in here. So this is, this is an opportunity for you to have a a clean place to keep your kitchen food scraps. And then that will go into your yard waste trash can. So this will include meat and bones and sauces and everything can just get dumped right in. The new organics recycling law, SB 1383, not only mandates food waste diversion from our homes, but from businesses too. For the restaurants, it's mostly food waste. For other businesses like multifamily properties, apartment complexes, it's also yacht trimmings. With the new law having gone into effect January 1st, many people are wondering when they're going to receive the new green bins. Some of them have already seen the bins, others are still waiting. And I would just say, just look to your hauler to when they make it available. Because of COVID, there is a grace period. And so the timeline for rollout will vary from city to city. And if you have a private trash hauler, their timeline will also vary from company to company. According to Solana Center, cities like Encinitas, Vista and Poway already have the service in place. But they say other cities like San Diego and Carlsbad are working toward a summer rollout. This is really the kick in the seat of the pants that we needed as a community, as a region, to build the infrastructure. I'm Brian White for News 8.